Good morning YouTube and I'm on my way to the gym. I made up this morning so um, we're all good to go. A uh, little slept in a little bit late but it doesn't really matter but when you get out and you, you don't miss anything out then you're all good. So I found out this morning, ran out of pre-workout so I'm going to be using the caffeine pills I was talking about the other day as uh, just a source of energy before payday which comes up Friday. So I hope you've been, been enjoying the video so far. Um, I've certainly been enjoying making them. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna catch you guys when I'm just about to hit some chest for the day. So I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Way too many girls in the summer. Once more, something's wrong. Body cause I'm girls. One sec, I'll be back. I feel like I'm being. Million dollars in a motherfucking Maserati. Woo! Been away, but I'm back to party. Rum and coke, call it black Bacardi. Got a love for the piff, I'm sorry. I'm Jimi Hendrix with a mix of Molly. I rock Lamar and Dolly. Claw money shades and a black Denali. So let's go down, but I like to stay right and girls get left. If they don't get it right like one sec, I'll be back. I feel like I'm being trapped. Way too many girls in the summer. Do the minimum, give me any game and I bet you I'll be winning them Swimming in women with their own condominiums That's why they call me a bad boy And you bad girl, like damn girl Shit, how the hell you get up in my damn world But you looking like a star and I'm a fan girl And I ain't saying that to get up in your pants girl But, ha, you got a rockin' body Rum and coke on a black Bacardi 6 a.m. no hotel lobby It's after hours so let's after party I got a love for the piff, I'm sorry I'm Jimi Hendrix with a mix of Molly Let's go down with a light, stay bright And girls get left if they don't get it right like one So guys, just finished my workout as you saw, and um, hope you enjoyed it by the way. Uh, it was a bit of a more heavy week for my chest, and I'm enjoying it. I actually really enjoyed it today. Um, didn't go too heavy on the flyers and the accessory workouts. Um, a lot of them you saw, I was about mid sets. I didn't, I didn't show my heaviest because I wanted to make sure that I got the proper form in. Um, so what I tend to do is if I'm going heavy on an accessory, because it's all about form, I'll tend to do my um, my regular sets, so say for example today it was six, uh, 12, 10, 8, 6, then I'll add one more set in just as heavy, like a new personal best or something, just to sort of um, make sure that I get the work in but I can still keep pushing myself to try and go a bit heavier. Um, but yeah, I, th I really enjoyed that, my chest is really pumped, it was really good. I didn't regret like not having pre-workout too much, to be fair I didn't even remember until just then. So. That was a productive workout. Um, you saw my 100 attempt on the bench press. I haven't done that in a while. I keep attempting it, 
but I keep failing. I did it. I can do it with a spot, but I don't. I want that to stop being a thing. So eventually, I'll get there where I can do it without a spot, and there'll be no issues. And then I can start using that to my regular way. But that's the goal anyway. But I can't see that happening during shredding season because you're in a deficit so your body's gonna be like oh god that's a hell of a weight so my, my lifts will probably go down and down um well quite i got an easy 80 kilos out for two which isn't so bad especially with uh, still being fa sorry especially with still being fasted this morning so i haven't actually eaten yet i'm quite happy with that i know to some people it's not much but remember Lifting weights and quote unquote bodybuilding or physique building or whatever you want to call it isn't about lifting heavy ass weight. That's fun, but it, it, you can put on muscle and define the muscle much better by using a weight that you can control. Um, so that would be my suggestion to, the, to you guys is stick with the weight that you can control. And unless you've got someone there to spot you, for example, you saw the guy, I'm not even sure of his name, he's just one of those gym guys that you don't know the name of. But um, as I say, I got the guy there to help me do the 100. I'd, I'm not counting it. Uh, some people say, oh, well, he barely touched it or whatever. Some people will count that, but unless you can get the, for me, I don't count it as a lift until you get the bar up without anyone's help. So even if he did have fingers underneath it, whether it's pushing or not, people are always going to lie to you. If they go, oh, it was only two fingers, mate, just to make sure you like don't get demoralized, I don't count it because you don't know if they're lying or not. So I felt that I wasn't pushing that hard. Um, it was definitely assisted, so I'm not counting it, but I'll put it in the video anyway. Anyway, I need to go catch my bus now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will speak to you guys possibly after breakfast, possibly after work. I don't know yet because breakfast is going to be the same as usual. So I'll probably do breakfast. Enjoy. So guys, you just saw me making cooking my breakfast. So I've got 231 uh, mils of egg whites, 
I don't know why I put EG instead of EW, but clearly I can't spell. Um, I've got 52 grams of uh, egg yolks. I was going to say EY then, damn. You can tell you've had a good workout when you have no idea what words are. Um, 40 grams of oats and 122 mils of um, semi skim milk. I've also got um, a cup of this. Now, green tea with lemon. Green tea is, there's some studies to say that it might be a fat burner. It might not. But I like hot drinks. I think everyone likes a hot drink now and again. But tea and coffee, it's just so high in calories and things. So I'm just gonna fork up. Um, well, they can be higher and it's really hard to sort of, it's a bit tedious to just sort of go, okay, I'm gonna weigh the milk out and then I can, da, 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 and it just goes on like that. Cause you gotta track your drinks as well. So I thought, mix it up, try green tea. Green tea's horrible, I don't like it. Green tea with lemon, nice. It takes a bit of time to get used to it. It's a bit like um, really mild, like children's medicine. You know the nice ones you had when you was a kid? It tastes like that, so for anyone that's wanting a hot drink to replace it, then it's got that in it. So it's got CLAs in it, which is, um, it's sort of like a fat bunny. Most people will supplement them. And it's also got caffeine in it, which is, most people don't know, but it also can be a fat burner. Um, now what CLAs do is, I can't remember what they are called, I think they're conjunctive lactic acid or something, but basically what they do is they target the abdominal fats on animals. Now there's been a few studies on humans, but obviously it's quite difficult to get um, people to test humans and rights and stuff like that. So on animals, yeah, perfect, it's done it every time. However. There's obviously studies on humans, some of them, there's not many of them, and they're all a bit iffy. But, you know, it's a replacement for something you like and it doesn't taste bad, so even if it doesn't do it, well, what's the harm? Um, so, it, it might, might even just reduce a certain amount in a human that would look substantial on an animal, whereas it doesn't on a human. So, I, for me, it's worth it. It cost me like a quid for that packet of 20. So it's about the same price as normal tea bags anyway. And being English, we all like tea. Um, obviously you guys like your coffee over in America, if anyone's watching from America. But yeah, so that's basically my breakfast. I'm gonna get on and eat before it gets cold. I've also got my multivitamins as well, um, which as I say is key to this time. And I'm gonna get on and eat it, and then shower, and then get to work, and then enjoy. Oh, quickly, just before I went, um, I spoke to some guys in the gym today, and beneficial me not going yesterday. The gym was actually locked, and people showed up, tried the door, it was locked. So I don't know what happened there, but luck was in my favor. So me going yesterday wasn't so bad after all. So I'll speak to you guys later. So guys. Back from work, sorry, the sun's in my eyes. And um, decided to take a stroll instead of get the bus. I can, I take two buses to work because it's quite far away. So one of them, one of the buses I got, then I got off at a stop where I can walk home from. So it's quite nice weather and I thought I'd have a little bit of a chat. Now, I had a really good bit of inspiration for a video. And I'm not sure when you're gonna see it, but I'm hopefully gonna either record it tonight or tomorrow. And it's really, I think it's quite a deep video, so whether you guys will enjoy it or not, um, I don't know. It was actually inspired by one of uh, one of my colleagues that actually works up in Scotland. So, um, big thanks to them for the inspiration, but it's, it's quite hard thinking of video ideas that aren't just vlogging daily. So, I'll try and figure out something. Anyway, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna go eat, and then I'll speak to you guys in a bit. So guys, as I say, I just recorded that quote unquote deep video so I hope you guys enjoy it it is just a little bit of an insight to what really goes on and the important things in the fitness industry so we will carry on our summer shredding stuff as usual and I don't know when it's gonna go up it might go up at, it will go up at some point possibly Saturday so I'll get I'm gonna crack on with some editing now and I'll speak to you guys just before I go to bed. So guys, today's been a long, long day. Um, you can probably hear my computer actually. I'm just rendering episode 
five? Yeah, episode five. I'm losing track, if I'm honest. Not with, like, the way I'm doing things, but it's I'm losing track with the episode that I'm on. It's getting really irritating, because every time I'm like, okay, so good morning, YouTube, episode, and then it's pretty much a guess, so I'm bound to get it wrong at some point. But I'm just going to finish rendering this. It's pretty much done. Chuck it up. It will then it will be unlisted at the moment, but it will go up at some point. I can't remember what day it is. I'm thinking of getting a calendar just there. That way I know what day I am uploading things. But I don't know. Um, or a calendar at least somewhere, somewhere that I can just sort of go. Right, episode Z needs to go up there, and mm, X video needs to go up then, or some something cool like that. So. The great thing is, is I've realized I can upload from my phone. So I just, well, I've uploaded it. I can make it listed on my phone. So say if I'm up so up in Glasgow or something, or just out and about for a while, I can pre-make them and I'm all set to go. So that's pretty cool. Only found that out today. Um, when I made episode one live, yes, this is how in advance I am. Episode one went live today. This is episode nine. I'm quite proud of that. I just made a video about preparation too, so what can you do? Um, anyway, I'm going to catch some sleep, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning for quads and calves. So, I don't know how that's going to go. My calves are still sore from Sunday, but we'll see. Okay, I'll speak to you guys later, and have a good night's sleep.